Welcome back, Adventures with Dr. Joe. Today we're going to set this, set the printer up. We've already fully completed the, 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 we've built it. Now I've plugged it in. There, I just turned it on. You can see the screen is lit up, and we're going to get this set. So the control panel goes through this setup, booting everything up, and we're going to follow the prompts. So here's the welcome screen. Hi, this is your original Prusa XL printer. I'd like to guide you through the setup process. Continue is highlighted. We'll click OK. Now what it's going to do is do the, the fan test first. It's going to check the RPM. It's going to of the hot end fan, then the print fan, and then for the switched fans. Now it's moving back and forth checking the XY axis. Okay, the XY axis is all checked out. Now it's going to do the z-axis, which of course, of course is the print bed. So it's going to move all the way up and down. Pretty neat to see it in action. The next step is to do the load cell test. We're going to end up actually tapping the nozzle here in a second. So it's going to say tap on nozzle. And that's it. So the load cell test passed. Now the bed, now the heat bed and the extruder are going to, re, are going to move around in their full motion. This is the nozzle heater test going to check the heater of the nozzle and then it will next do the test of the of the heat bed during this test the nozzle heats to 290 centigrade and the heat bed heats to 110 degrees centigrade so be sure you put a metal sheet on your heat bed and it'll it'll lock in between the pins on the back because that's critical so it's gone through all the self testing and everything's passed now it's for the filament sensor calibration and we just want to be sure there's no filament in it and there isn't any. So is there any filament in the tool or side element? I turned it to no. No. And here it goes. It's going to test. Now we're going to load some filament in. This is where the filament starts. Put that on our thing and then it goes in this top tube and you just run it in until you meet some resistance. It has to go all the way up into the extruder. It's going to take 130 centimeters or so of filament. You meet a little resistance right here, but just be sure you push through it and that tubing will just stop and there's your, there we've met our resistance and we're going to continue. Now it says remove the filament to finish. So I'm going to take the filament back out. Okay, with this semi-assembled, we're going to further adjust this by loosening all of these screws, including these. Just a few turns. We're going to move the heat bed retighten these. Next thing we're going to go to control. I've got that illuminated and we're going to go down to move axis. And we're, we're going to move Z to its lowest point. There it is. We're going to leave this for a few seconds, let it settle in and then we're going to tighten all the screws. So we loosened them all, now we're going to tighten them all. Then I'm going to tighten these like before. Right. 
we are ready to print. So congratulations, you've gone through the entire setup now of the Prusa XL. It's going to be a great printer for you. You're going to really enjoy it. And you're going to be able to basically make kind of whatever you want. So if this was helpful, please click thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thank you very much.